Hi folks, Roger Cormier, my son Thomas, back in one of our favorite northern Minnesota destinations, Crane Lake. Voyagers National Park, a chain of lakes up here in the Minnesota Ontario Boundary Waters that's famous for great fishing. We love coming here for the big smallmouth. We've also got walleyes and northerns and crappies and some muskies. And boom, Second nice. Second cast right there, that's yeah. what you get. Dark fish. Yeah. Nice job, man. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Flush that top water. Big profile bait. It's over. Or you got the frog. I got on, the huh? frog going on. Yeah, we'll show you a couple of the colors we like to use up here. This is a brown frog skitter prop. There we go. Nice. Show you the popper. Look at that. Easy. Peasy. As the sun comes out, I think they're going to come up shallower and shallower here to feed. It's just a little guy he here. He was in what a foot of water. Yeah, I mean right on the bank. This is kind of classic structure that we're starting out in here today. Just a little shallow bay. Got some grass growing. We got lots of gravel. Just a little fella there on a four-out hook and a little orange plastic worm on there. Nice fish. The big one? He's peeled he's some up. drag on you right on the hook set. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nice. He's still got a lot of fight in him. Little marabou jig, little black marabou jig. Just cast and slowly reeled in. That catches a lot of smallmouth up here, too. Another Crane Lake smallie. I just caught a fish, and it's the marabou jig is hanging off the side of the boat. And when I pick up the rod, there's a fish on it. And it's a <laughs> big fish. Look at that. Nice. Oh, that is a good sized one. What the? <laughs> That's. <laughs> I look to my rod, and the tip of it's bending into the water. I'm like, did I snag? <laughs> no. Sometimes it pays to leave your lure in the water while you're dealing with a fish. We got a Suffolk fluorocarbon leader on here, 14 pound, nice and heavy because we're going to be in some rocks from time to time and that's knotted to some 832 braid. Boy, did you ever stick that fish? I mean, he was just almost 19. Nice. Fat fish though. Wow. Beautiful. Same one came after you again? Well, I mean, I was six feet in front of it. He hit it once and I don't know if it was the same one that came back and hit it a second time or if it was two different fish. Beautiful but little pile of boulders. Two seconds apart. Fishing with this medium heavy Legend Extreme St. Croix rod with 14 pound suffix. Dad, if you don't start catching some fish, I'm gonna have every single one on the show. <laughs> That's great. That's what I want. Another one on the skitter prop. Too easy. Yeah, it's almost fun, huh? almost automatic. Yeah. We're throwing at every boulder we see along the shores here, and it's a yeah, fun way to fish. You just look for brown water and put your bait somewhere past it and drag it right over, and that's where the fish are. Chunky fella, isn't oh, he? Oh, that's another solid one, yeah. You can kind of see this little shoreline that we're fishing here. I mean, there's more rocky shorelines, gravel areas, boulder points, islands, reefs, than you could ever have time to fish. It's just miles and miles of it up here. You can always find spots to tuck out of the wind. The nice thing about the Crane Lake area is there's so many ways to access this western edge of the Minnesota-Canada boundary waters. There's no motor restrictions up here. You can come with any horsepower boat that you want. Uh, there's plenty of outfitters up here that can set you up with canoes or kayaks, uh, renting boats or pontoons for families or fishermen. There's an ATV association here in town that maintains miles of trails with ATV riding becoming more and more popular. The Northwoods of Minnesota is a great place to go riding. There's a houseboat operation. We can do portage lakes fly-in fishing operators that'll take you to remote parts of the park or up into Canada. Quetico Provincial Park on the Ontario side is accessible. There's a couple of mechanical portages where you can put a boat on a trailer and actually trailer it up over the hill and into an another lake. That's a pretty cool experience to get together with a guide and outfitter that can take you into those remote waters. Lots of different ways to explore Voyagers National Park with Crane Lake as a base of operations. Whoa. 
Nice fish. And we're just creeping along in the shallows here. I'm using the Minn Kota to just kind of nudge us along and pitching and casting. This is another big one here. Another one on a marabou jig. Oh, it's a big fish. Equality Crane Lake smallmouth, man. When you get in them in the shallows like this and they're getting numbers and good average size, that's why people come from all over the United States to catch these fish. People from California, I know there's folks here from Colorado right now we ran into that are fishing. Enjoying great smallmouth in northern Minnesota. The best way to start planning your trip to Crane Lake is to go to the website cranelaketv.com. You'll find information about all of the businesses up here that can help you explore Voyagers National Park. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.